Larry Lust has a 35-year military career. No wonder it takes rummaging through two file cabinets, checking multiple boxes, and pulling out several baggies to find that very first Legion of Merit medal and a combat decoration that is perhaps a little more recognizable. I screwed up and got that one. <laughs> so I was teaching two guys how to walk, how one would walk point, and they hit a booby trap. <laughs> the, the trip bar should have went this way, but it went this way. So I tripped it, and all I got hit with was the back blast of this thing. I didn't get hit with the full thing. So I was most fortunate that uh, that's the way it turned out. This Lakeview Village resident who grew up on a dairy farm in Moran, Kansas, wanted to be a soldier as far back as he can remember. After five years in, he was considering civilian life until he bumped into his old platoon sergeant. And the platoon sergeant was a guy named Sergeant First Class Frank Young III. Frank was that platoon sergeant. Everybody says, you know, don't worry, your, your sergeant will take care. Frank was absolutely, unbelievably the best I'd ever seen. Larry lost track of Frank but he will never forget his words that day. And he said, well, Lieutenant Lust, if you get out, you know, that's your, your prerogative, but if you get out, who's gonna help me fix the army and take care of our soldiers? I don't remember what I told him, you know, but I went home and talked to my wife, and uh, we agreed that if, if, if the best platoon sergeant in the squadron thought we had something to give, then we stayed. So that's how 30, three years turned into 35 and a half is because of Sergeant Young asking, who's gonna help me fix the army? Three decades later, in a house full of accomplishments, it's evident that this two-star general made the right decision. You know, all I did is I was the head of the organization, but I had a whole lot of folks that did unbelievable stuff. I mean, I just, I just served with some very, very good people. Besides joining the Army as a private, becoming a commissioned officer, and departing the Army after 35 and a half years, Larry Lust will tell you his greatest accomplishment is marrying Catherine whom he says is a woman far better than he deserves. I mean, she, she carried a heck of a lot of load. There's a theme here, a humble two-star general who gives credit where credit is due. So with Memorial Day approaching, we asked Larry to remind us the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. It's easy. Memorial Day is for the dead, Veterans Day is for the living, you know? And it, it, to me, it, to, when somebody says, you know, uh, you know, happy Memorial Day, you got the wrong, you got the, first off, you got the wrong guy, you got the wrong holiday. It's, but the Memorial Day is for the dead. They're the people who paid uh, a tremendous sacrifice. And uh, it should be remembered. Thank you, Larry Lust, for your service and for reminding us that Memorial Day is a day to remember those who courageously gave their lives.